hello everyone in this video we're going to look at marketing the learning objectives one explain the meaning of marketing two we shall look at an analysis of the four p's involved in the business and three we shall identify various marketing strategies that can be used in commercial activities there we go if I'm to ask, how would you define marketing? This is a series of activities aimed at identifying the customer's needs, developing these products to meet the customer's needs, making products available to the customers and in a convenient location at reasonable prices at a convenient place and time. Central to marketing is having a clear idea of what customers' needs are, which is why you spend so much time conducting your market research. I talked about this in the first video. Marketing mix refers to a set of marketing tools that the firm uses to pursue its marketing objectives and target. At its most basic level, meeting these needs means looking at the four key areas that affect whether you make a sale or not. And these four areas are the price, products, place, and promotion. So these are also called the components of the marketing mix. We're going to look at one by one. Shall start with the product. What is the product? This is a good or a service that a business offers to customers to satisfy their needs or wants. The product should be developed in consideration of needs of customers. Two, a good design. Three, good quality. Properly packed, convenient in size and quality, and within the RSB set quality standards and regulations. Lastly, if you make a product and you don't meet the right standards, then your product will be considered as a fake product. A customer will only buy what you are offering if your product, which might also be a service, meets their needs or desires. I think we all know that. Very few products or services are 100% standardized. So, adapting the product to maximize its attractiveness to the target customer is therefore part of marketing. Let's look at the second component of a marketing mix, and which is the price. So, we're saying this is the amount the customer pays for a product to enjoy it. It is a monetary value of a product. The price should attract the customers to buy the product, should enable you, the entrepreneur, to get a profit. And at the same time, we should be able to compete with other businesses selling similar products. So, if the price is too low, most people think that the product is inferior or it's of poor quality, and if the price is too high, it's going to scare away some of your clients. All in all, for a customer to make a purchase, they have to feel that their need or desire for the product service justifies the price which the seller is asking. How that price is set is a marketing decision which can have a huge impact over your sales. Let's come to the third component, which is the place. This refers to the channels of distribution that are selected to make the products available to some consumers or market. You as an entrepreneur, you should have this into consideration. Take a look at Reeves or Enterprise, wherever you go across this country, you will meet his product. So he's able to 
get all customers. So the product must be available to customers where and when customers want to buy. The aim of the players in the marketing mix is to make sure that the product is available at the right place and at the right time in the right quantities. Again, looking at this, Oribso Enterprises assume all his products at Nyangarama. They are not distributed across the country. People from Nyagatari, people from Changugu, maybe even Chigali, could not get these products. But having placed them everywhere, he's able to get all the customers. Assuming a customer does need your product, you will still only be able to meet this need. That is, make a sale if they are prepared to able to go to the place where you are selling it. Where you chose to sell your product is therefore part of marketing. The last component, which is promotion. And I'm saying this is disseminating of good information about a product. Talking about good of your product. The main purpose of promotion is to raise awareness about a product, its location, its qualities, etc. Promotion should be done to one, make the product known to the customers. Make your products attractive to the customers. And last but not least, also increase the sales of your business. Again, assuming the customer does need your products, you will still only be able to meet this need. That is, make a sale if they know that your product exists. Making sure that your target customers are aware of your products and its features where to buy it. The effective promotion techniques is therefore part of the market. If you don't promote your product, who will ever know about your product? So these are the four components of marketing mix. But some scholars go ahead and add the fifth. Some say it's positioning and others say it's people. But as they say, they're still four. So which is players, product, price and promotion. So it's a mix of these four. If you focus on all of them, you'll be able to get lots of customers and then earn lots of profits. Defining marketing through the four P's does not capture every aspect of marketing, every type of product or service. But it is an easy way to start thinking about the strategies to market your products. So, marketing is about swinging these decisions in your favor. So, let's look at the other marketing strategies. One, segmentation. We first the process of bifurcating or dividing a large unit into various small units which have more or less related characteristics. A market segment is a small unit within a large market comprising of a like-minded individuals. A market segment comprises of individuals who think on the same lines and have similar interests in their given product. If pizzas are to go and the pizzas, then you have to be a product. If it's producing some flores for the kids, then youth, the old, to mention but a few. So, basis for segmentation, what do we best want to mix, to divide? And one, the age, gender, income, marital status, occupation, among others. The second one, before we look at the second, let's talk about the importance of segmenting a market. One, it helps you, the marketers, to devise appropriate marketing strategies 
and promotion schemes according to the tastes of the individuals of the particular market segment. For instance, now the youth who are the girls, the side of the girls, I'm told nowadays what's trending is the off shoulders, clothes which are off shoulders. So after segmenting and you say I'm focused on you, then you know what they want. Two, it helps the marketers to understand the needs of the target audience and adopt specific marketing plans accordingly. It also gives the customers a clear view of what to buy and what not to buy. It also helps the organization to target the right products to the right customers and at the right time. And lastly, but not least, we are saying segmentation helps the organizations to know and understand their customers better. Organizations can now reach a wider audience and promote their products more effectively. So that's it and the importance of market segmentation. Two, another strategy is targeting. A target is a specific group of consumers at which a company aims its products and services. So you target a given group of consumers. Is it the rich? Is it the poor? Is it the average? Is it for all? So decide three, decide on the value propositions. This is an innovation, a service, or a future intended to make a company or a product more attractive to your customers. Since you have already said you might come into the market and this the product that you're going to produce are already in the existence. So how do you make some improvement and then get lots of customers? For product differentiation. And the thing is a marketing strategy whereby businesses attempt to make their products unique to stand out from competitors. Might look at the characteristics, physical attributes of substantive difference exists between a product from other alternatives. Is your product different maybe in terms of color, in terms of size, in terms of portability, quality, to mention but a few. And lastly, another strategy that you can also put into consideration is positioning. The same this refers to a place that a given brand occupies in the minds of the customers. And how it is distinguished from the products from competitors. Yeah, I think that's sad. In today's video, we have talked about what is marketing, components of marketing, the marketing strategies, and now in the next video, we shall look at the customer survey. Why it's important to research about our customers. Thank you for watching.